slow plant growth, why your basic aquarium fertilizer might not be working to 100% of its potential, and how it might be related to your water conditioner. Something I found out and have been dying to share, coming up. Folks, let's start by setting the scene. It's a regular water change day. We walk over to our tank and begin siphoning out our water. Fill our bucket up with tap water, put in our preferred tap water conditioner, head back over to our tank and fill our tank up. Now once our tank is full, we put in our preferred basic aquarium fertilizer. And now we're done, right? Sound familiar? I know I did it this way for years. What I found out, this is the worst time to add your basic aquarium fertilizer to your tank. And it has to do with what's in your tap water conditioner. Let me explain. Let's start by first looking at what's in your basic aquarium fertilizer. Now you're going to have to dose macro and micronutrients for your plants as well, but most basic aquarium fertilizers include trace amounts of heavy metals that are beneficial to your plants. Some of the heavy metals include cobalt, copper, iron, manganese, and zinc. In trace amounts, non-toxic to your fish and great for your plants. Iron accounts for 0.32% of Flourish's composition alone. Now let's look at our water conditioner. I love Seachem Prime, does a great job at detoxifying ammonia and removing chlorine and chloramine from my water. What it also will do is break down and detoxify any heavy metals found in my water in typical concentrations. Which heavy metals? The same that are found in your aquarium fertilizer in trace amounts. Now most water conditioners don't just dissipate right away, they'll keep working in your tank for a 24 to 48 hour period. This means that dosing your fertilizer right after you use your water conditioner during a water change will cause the trace heavy metals in your fertilizer to be partially broken down. This leaves less micronutrients for your plants to absorb. There are a lot of great companies out there that make basic aquarium fertilizers, but most of them will have some form of trace heavy metals that are beneficial to your plants, though the concentrations might be a little different. Same with water conditioners. Most of these do a great job taking chlorine and chloramine out of your tap water as well as detoxifying ammonia and some will break down heavy metals. The basic premise is the same whichever company you go with. Make sure you wait a full 24 hours after using your tap water conditioner until you use your basic aquarium fertilizer. Then sit back and watch your plants grow. Thanks for watching.